I came across this Reddit post yesterday, and I think it's worth talking about. Before getting somebody to switch to Linux, get them to start using free and open source software on their proprietary operating systems first. I agree with this, and I think it's a discussion worth having. What's the most common complaint people have after switching to Linux? Where are all my proprietary Windows slash macOS software? That's why, if you get them to switch to FOSS on their proprietary operating systems first, the eventual switch will be much more seamless. And the great thing is that FOSS developers don't gatekeep their software from Windows Mac OS, unlike the other way around, so they can install pretty much every free and open source software out there. How do I know this method works? Because it's how I fell in love with FOSS and Linux. I needed a way to remux a video file and all the options out there were paid, until I came upon FFmpeg, which allowed you not only to remux video, but to do pretty much anything with it. It seemed too good for something that good to be free. That's when I looked into it and learned about free and open source software. After that, I slowly switched all of my software to free and open source alternatives until the only proprietary thing left on my PC was Windows itself. I absolutely agree with this. I think one of the biggest points of friction when it comes to switching from another operating system to Linux is all the new software that you have to learn. And I think switching the operating system and the software at the same time just puts an unreasonably large cognitive load on a person that's switching, right? Why would the person have to go through all of that at the same time? Wouldn't it be easier if they switch their software out over time gradually and after they got used to the software, then they made the jump to Linux. That way, they have much less to learn at a single point in time, and it's much more spread out, which makes the transition easier. According to this commenter, Linus Torvald said something similar to the extent that we don't need any more distros or DEs, we need more applications that can compete with those from Microsoft and Apple. And a great example of this is Blender. Blender is a fantastic tool to the point that it's maybe not an industry standard, but it's very competitive. The OP points out that in the early 2010s, when they were trying to learn 3D art for fun, Blender was considered a great way to get people into 3D for free, but nowhere near as good as Autodesk software for serious work. But somehow that changed over the years, to the point that it's completely normal for Blender to be used for serious work by big studios. I don't know how the Blender team achieved that, but I believe that's the formula. And I think that cases like this are fantastic. We need applications that are competitive with the best of the best if Linux on the desktop is going to be competitive with Windows or other operating systems. Unfortunately, there's a catch here. Free and open source software. The fact is, sometimes there just aren't free and open source software alternatives that are at that level yet. An example that people often bring up, and that for the most part I agree with, is GIMP. People say, GIMP is an alternative to Photoshop. If you use Photoshop, you can pretty much switch to GIMP right away. I don't think so, no. There are many things that you can do in Photoshop that you simply can't do with GIMP. From things like Photoshop extensions that are not available, to user interface being honestly just very janky. And looks like I'm not the only one with this opinion. Ha 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 ha! I'm Jankman! And today, I'm gonna look at an image editing app, GIMP! To things like non-destructive editing, which... I know GIMP is working on, and apparently they're supposed to have it out this summer, but it's not available yet, so we have to wait for that. Telling someone that they should switch from Photoshop to GIMP as an endorsement of free and open source software, you're really just doing the whole community a disservice, because what that person will be left with is an impression that all free and open source software is like this. That it can do some of the job, but is inferior and difficult to use, and is just not as good as the proprietary options. When for much software out there, like the OP points out with FFmpeg, that's not the case. The free and open source software is often just as good as the proprietary options. And in those cases, yes, we absolutely should push people to use the free and open source versions, but in cases where the free and open source version is, I'm gonna say it, inferior, in that case, we need to be honest about the messaging and say, okay, if you're willing to put up with these issues, here's an alternative that might work for you. If not, unfortunately, you'll have to stick with whatever you're using now. In particular, one of the ways that free and open source software is almost always lacking is the user interface. I mean, with GIMP, you know, this conversation has been done to death, but, you know, try drawing a circle or, 
you know, there are so many basic things that are just very unintuitive, which is why I think people should use tools like Photopea, which I think is a much more capable alternative to Photoshop. Its UI is much more similar, so users coming from Photoshop will be more familiar with it, and it has a very nice feature set as well. It's free, as in free beer, but it's not free and open source. So if we take a look at their GitHub repo, as you can see, it's not fully open source. This repository serves as a place for bug reports, feature requests, and general discussion. However, since it's just a web app, it's cross-platform, basically automatically, which means that someone on Windows, for example, could switch to using this first and then switch to Linux. And afterwards, if they really want to try out GIMP, I mean, sure, they can try it out, but if they don't like it, they can just continue using this web app and hopefully they'll have a great experience doing so. Making that transition step by step makes each individual step easier and we lose fewer people along the way. Another case that I want to talk about is Google Slides and the Google Docs suite in general versus LibreOffice. Now, many people in the free and open source world will recommend LibreOffice as an alternative to Microsoft Office. And sure, for some use cases, it might be viable. But honestly, I think people would just be better off if they used tools like Google Docs because they're much more familiar. And honestly, the user interface and the experience of learning to use them coming from Microsoft Office is just much better. I mean, look at this UI right here. Let's count how many buttons there are just in this main toolbar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-
is the current font size of that text box. And as I click back and forth, you can see that the font size updates right away. It's instant. Whereas if I go to LibreOffice, and if I click back and forth, notice how there's a delay. It doesn't immediately change from 32 to 44. It takes a few seconds. And also some of these other options that become highlighted and non-highlighted take a few seconds as well. I mean, just look at this. If I click off the text box, first this one got unchecked, then the justify moved to the left, and then the alignment moved as well. And all of those updated at different times, which makes for a very disjointed user experience. I mean, just look at this. Focus on these buttons up here. See how it doesn't update right away? To a user, I think that's pretty jarring. And to someone who's new to free and open source software, I think they'd get the impression that all of it is kind of janky like this and has these weird little quirks that you have to just know how to work around them. I think that's overall a negative thing for the community. Here's another one. I'm clicking undock toolbar, but that seems to not do anything. Control shift F10, and yet it doesn't seem to actually affect the UI in any way at all. Honestly, I'm not sure what this option is supposed to do, undock toolbar, but whatever it is, it doesn't seem to be working. So for those reasons, I recommend that new users that have just switched to Linux just continue using Google Docs. For those three reasons that I mentioned. Number one, the general UI layout and design. It's much simpler and much more intuitive in Google Docs. Number two, UI responsiveness. In Google Docs, the UI updates right away, whereas in LibreOffice, it updates at seemingly random times. And number three is jank. In Google Docs, every option at least seems to work and seems to actually do something. Whereas in LibreOffice, as we just saw, some options appear to just do nothing at all. Now, hopefully all of these issues can be fixed in the future, but until then, I think we're doing new users a disservice by recommending them these tools. And I think we're just hurting the community by doing so because every one of the users that we lose due to issues like that is a user that we might not have had that would otherwise be using Linux on the desktop and be using some free and open source software. Whereas if they leave due to getting a poor impression of free and open source software, they'll be using entirely proprietary software. And that's a bad thing. But what do you think? Do you think it's worth the downsides of these free and open source tools? Just the fact that they're open source is enough to recommend them? Let me know in the comments.